birthday friends. Hello, my spiritual hot gals, my spiritual hot moms. I decided today to do a favorites video. I miss favorite videos. And now that I'm a mom, I want to see other people's mom favorites currently. So not only do I have my own favorites in this video, but I also have some baby laces favorites, some of our favorite things to use with her, use on her. And we're just going to jump right into it. So hello, I'm Marissa Lace. If you are new to my channel, I create content all about self-love, spirituality, wellness, tapping into your inner goddess to unapologetically create a life you love and be someone you love. And now she sharing the magic of motherhood as well, <laughs> as well as the radiant realness. So we are going to jump right into it. Um, I am five months into motherhood and it's been a trip so far. So I did film a five month update for you guys. So that will be up soon. Keep your eyes peeled for that. But let's jump into the thing. So I'll start with my things. Honestly, very fitting because I'm not self tanned right now, but I have a combo favorite. I'll put a photo on the screen of the part two to the favorite, but I have a new self tanner favorite. And if you guys are part of the OG, the OG loving tan squad, what's up you guys, we're ditching her. Um, I am obsessed with the San Tropez Ashley Graham formula. I will have all of these, all the favorites, baby favorites linked down below. Um, so do not worry. But the Ashley Graham San Tropez formula. I was never a San Tropez girl. Um, I was always a loving tan girl. And I don't know what Ashley Graham did with San Tropez. But baby, chef's kiss. But with that, if you are a fair lady such as myself, you know that when your self tan fades, um, it can feel a little dry, a little icky. First of all, the Ashley Graham self tanner like fades so evenly and beautifully. I love that. It applies with ease. It smells good. It feels hydrating. And the two days after I apply the self tanner, so I apply self tanner, I wear it that night, I wash it off. The next morning, I will apply this uh, Lux Unfiltered Hydrating Self Tanning Cream. This stuff is amazing. I am so in love with this. I did get the face drops. I wasn't obsessed with the face drops. It definitely over tanned my face, um, but I got the Rosewood scent. Um, I don't think it smells like Rosewood, but it's an amazing product. It is super hydrating, easy to apply. I just wash my hands after using it. And I was super hesitant to use a product like this where you couldn't see the color right away, but I feel like applying this after your foam self tanner where you already have a tan it keeps it really even really hydrated and feels super good so I'm obsessed with this stuff again oh it does it like it does smell good but it's not like oh my gosh in your face rosewood you know so fake tan real you no filter this was actually created by an influencer um and I love this stuff it's amazing so highly recommend has been all over TikTok and I have been wearing this stuff for months now and I am obsessed. You guys know that my ride or die was the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and Illumination. So when I want to wear like a full face of makeup, that's what I wear. But this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter is, that's all that I'm wearing like on my face right now. I'm not wearing full foundation. I'm wearing a tiny bit of concealer and it's just, it's everything. I am so obsessed with it. So I am in the lightest shade. I am in fair. Um, and it applies so well. It stays on so well. It looks super healthy and like glowy. I love it. it the, literally, this is one of my favorite things that I've discovered in the past couple years and the cult like following of it is definitely worth it. The price is definitely worth it. You can also um, get like a sample size, like a mini version and test it out. You don't have to buy the full version. My next favorite is actually two products, but I only have one with me. The second one is at my hairdressers because I go and get my blowout. So I leave my products with her, but this is the Jouer. G-I-S-O-U, Jouer Honey Infused Hair Perfume. And my second favorite is the Jouer, I'm just gonna say Jouer, um, Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner. Postpartum hair loss is a thing. There's only so much we can do. Look how shiny and healthy my hair is though. Look how shiny and healthy my hair is though. Like she's beautiful. Like my hair is beautiful. So shiny, so healthy. So the shampoo and conditioner that I use is the Day Shampoo and, shampoo and Conditioner, um, D-A-E. I'll leave a link for both down below because those are also favorites, but they're also at my hairstylist. So um, this hair perfume is amazing. I have never been a hair perfume person, but the smell of this 
Y'all, I use this as a regular perfume, okay? I do. I use it as a regular perfume. I'm obsessed with it. It smells so good. It's like warm and sweet, but like still smells like an adult. You know what it smells like? It smells like an adult version of Fancy by Jessica Simpson. I was using this on my spiritual hot mom shit Instagram. I was getting ready on my stories and I applied this and I blended it out and I was doing my makeup. I got literally, you guys, I think 200 messages about what was this product. So this is the Glossier Solar Paint, Solar Paint in Ray, Luminous Bronzer Cream. So I know everyone was like super wet off of the Charlotte Tilbury, like uh, contour bronzing, whatever. I forget what it's called, the liquid bronzer. So I could not get my hands on it. And over the summer, I wanted to try the Glossier Solar Paint because I saw really good things about it. I wanted to try cream products. As you guys know, I've never been a big cream product girl. I tried this. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this shade. The shade again, shade again is in Ray. I'll have it linked down below with everything else, but you guys, it is phenomenal. It stays on, it's super glowy. It doesn't look over the top and it's very easy to blend out. It does not dry too quick. You just need a tiny amount. Um, and I love the applicator. The applicator is just a little doe foot and it has some like, not shimmer, but it has like a glow to it. I don't know what it is, but my makeup recently, I have been obsessed with. So that's pretty much what I'm going through in this whole video is like my current makeup routine, but I am obsessed. This stuff is just, it blends super well and it stays super well. A big thing for me is with cream products is I feel like they don't like stay. I feel like they budge all over your face and then you look muddy. And as a mom, it's like, I wanna feel like my makeup staying on my face and is super quick also. So all of these makeup products are like blend out in 2.5 seconds. And that's part of the reason I love them. Speaking of becoming a cream product gal. <laughs> Let's see real girl. Okay. Um, this is the rare beauty liquid blush in hope. So I did not, oh my God, very beauty guru, very beauty guru. So I could not find the full size of this and I wanted to try these rare beauty like liquid blushes. I saw everyone talking about them and I was like, but I don't know what color I'm going to like. And so many of them were sold out. I went to Sephora and I was in the checkout line buying something I probably didn't need. And I saw that there was a little tree of mini ones so I have three of them and I will link the trio down below but this one in hope is beautiful beautiful I have it on my cheeks as well as on my lips um and I like doing both because again I'm a mom mom shit gotta move quick um but I still want to be cute you know uh spiritual hot mom shit milf life so I'm obsessed with this stuff it is so pigmented and it blends so easy so quick it's great on the lips on the cheeks I mean I'm sure I could put it on my eye um and it's amazing I'm honestly obsessed and it's so wild though to me because I've never been a liquid like product queen i've always been you know a powder bitch so next favorites i did share in a recent vlog i kind of went over my updated skincare routine as you guys know, as you guys know i've in the past struggled with acne and through that i always kept my skincare super simple like basic cleanser some rose water face masks all the time but like very simple for the most part during my pregnancy, when I was pregnant, I had very beautiful skin. God is blessed. Thank you, baby shrimp. We honor you. God, thank you. Um, but for my hospital bag, I wanted to have some nice skincare that would just like feel really good. So I was going to be in the hospital and I wanted to still feel good. I wanted to feel cute. I knew I was going to be tore up from the floor up. So I wanted to feel like a bad bitch, you know what I mean? So I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Watermelon Glow Travel Kit and it came with the toner, the drops, and the moisturizer, I think. I don't quite remember, but what I do remember is how much I loved this toner. I love this toner so much. I went out and bought a full size one and I've been using this literally for a couple months now and it still barely made a dent in it. And I also picked up the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glop, Watermelon Glow niaminicide dew drops these are amazing and also with the tula rose glow and get it cooling under eye bomb um these three together make my skin so glowy so hydrated and honestly as a mom and anyone who's busy or on the go like it is so nice to make sure that you have a couple things in the morning or at night to do just a 
couple quick things, whether it's makeup or skincare, to just make yourself feel good. And if I've learned anything in motherhood, it's that we have the space in our life that we create for ourselves. We have the energy in our life that we create for ourselves. So taking a couple of moments when I wake up early in the morning and just like throwing some things on, whether it be the skincare and a little bit of makeup or just the skincare, to make sure that I'm feeling good and feeling like myself and feeling more put together. Um, it's been very important to me. So these three together have literally made my skin so glowy. And I still have been reading and finishing the Rewilding Mother book, Your Path to an Empowered Feminine Spirituality. Um, this book just talks about being a mother and being a modern mother and still having a connection to Source, God, whatever we call it. And it really takes away the mom guilt of putting yourself first. Ed my let podcast again. I kind of fell off of it for a while um, and I just really love it. I love Ed. I love his just like happy, cheery, positive, just divine masculine energy. I really love his podcast. Um, if I suggest listening to any of them, I really love the one with Tony Robbins and I love the one with Dean something. Oh, I know. But so that's that. For lifestyle sort of favorites, honestly, just motherhood. I've been showing up every day. Um, I've been really showing up to my just practice for myself. So um, waking up early and making space for myself in my life, showing up to my altar. I just come up here into my little office space. We call it my goddess den. And I do my little quickie guided meditations while I'm journaling and just making that time for myself to kind of take a deep breath, breathe, focus on my energy, fill up my cup before anyone else gets up. I have my little Keurig station up here. So I have a little cup of coffee with to myself. I have some lemon water and I just, you know, kind of start my day and knowing that I'm creating space for myself in my life. I am putting in the time and energy and effort to feel how I want to feel and focus on what feels good and call more of that into my day. That has been just the biggest favorite in my life thus far for 2022 of ensuring that I am making space for that in my life, ensuring that I'm showing up for myself in order to show up for my daughter because it's no one's job except my own to regulate my emotions, regulate my nervous system, make sure I'm taking care of myself. And moving on to the baby favorites. I'm so excited. So um, one of our first favorites, I talk about these a lot on our spiritual hot mom shit Instagram, but these are just the old Navy onesies. And I love these because they are so affordable. They're double zip and they wash really well. And they just have so much stretch to them. And she seems to really like them also. Again, I love the double zip lifestyle. I live for the double zip. Um, and we are just like, I know some people call these a sleeper. I called it a one and someone like got mad at me or something and said no it's a sleeper um if it's a one article of clothing baby girl that's a onesie you know what i mean so when i wear dresses onesie when i wear a romper onesie you know what i mean one piece swimsuit onesie so these are our absolute favorite i just really love them i've bought cut <laughs> i've bought kite baby i bought the bamboo ones and like i get it but also like it's cold here they're so thin i don't maybe for summertime but also it's like like $40? Are you okay? What? Um, so we love the old navy onesies. I'll link some of my favorites down below. They also make really, really great fleece ones that are good for, I mean, it's winter here. We got snow out. So we love, love, love these. I cannot <laughs> say enough. We are a pajama cozy household. I know some people love putting on all the outfits and all the accessories. I just want Lila to be warm and comfortable. I want her to be warm and comfortable. The next favorite I've talked about in the vlogs a little bit, but they are the Honest Baby Wipes. And specifically, I love the little travel ones. I keep these in my diaper bag. I keep these in our little travel, or not travel, but our little like diaper caddies, you could say, or diaper baskets throughout the house. Um, and these are amazing. So they're a plant-based wipe, 99% water, but these ones are textured, which I really, really like. Now that she's gotten older, her pinks are a little bit more like sticky. There's a little bit more texture to them. They hold on to the body a little bit more. And that's TMI, but baby, it's just us moms here now. You know what I mean? Even if you're not a mom, thanks for being a cool auntie of Lila. But these are amazing. These are amazing. My next favorite is kind of a broad favorite, but it's Love Every. This is not sponsored. 
I know everyone's sponsored by them, maybe one day, but they love every boxes. We get them every month for Lila and I get asked a lot about like toys, entertaining Lila, things like that. What I like about Love Every is it actually like tells you it comes with a book of what they should be learning, like skills they could be doing, all like their cognitive things. Um, and I really love it. It helps me feel like not only do I not have to think about that side of it, of like making sure I'm getting her the right toys or doing the right things with her, but it also is like a learning experience for like myself, my partner, my family. We love kind of going over the little booklet together and being like, what's Lila doing this month? Um, so this was part of her three month box, three, four month box. Um, and it's a sensory book where, you know, it has the crinkle, it comes with more flashcards. Um, and she, she loves them. She loves this book. So just having all the sensory stuff, all the different colors, the pockets, the cards, um, I really think it's worth it. I like sharing what I think baby products are worth it and what are not. And for me, the Love Every boxes really are worth it. And again, it's having the learning aspect as well as having kind of the fun aspect. And they're all really great. They've all been such fun toys. There's there's yet to be one thing where I'm like, oh, that seems like a waste of money or oh, I could find that somewhere else or um, better yet, like dangerous for baby. Um, but speaking of like, toys for baby this little teether ring i got at tj maxx and she loves this thing she loves the little beads um and it's just silicone so it's super super easy to clean um and she's just got some little you know drooling teething pre-teething moments going on so she loves just kind of rolling around with this thing. She loves chewing on it. It's one of her favorites. It helps with her motor skills. She is a very very big fan. And speaking of a big fan, um, Lila, something we do with her every single day is read. We try and read at least one book to her. Um, and when we read the book, we read it about three or four times with her. Um, and these books, either the one, two, three, or the ABCs. Um, so they have like one, two, three of thankfulness. They have the ABCs of love. They have the, um, there's another one. It's like the ABCs of gratitude, I think. Um, and the ABCs of kindness. I think is the other one we have. She loves these books. She loves kind of like how the animals are in almost like black and white more. So I think the contrast, uh, I've been showing these books since she was a little newborn and I would read to her um, every morning in the wake windows when she was a newborn. So it's just super fun. It's super nice to kind of start teaching her like colors and numbers. And even though like, I just don't feel like they could be too young. I'm sure somebody will let me know she could be, but you know, let me know what you think. But I just think it's super fun. I love these books. They're very thick. Um, and so having like the thicker books I found work a little bit better. The papery ones, I just get nervous. She's going to cut her finger or something. I don't even want a paper cut and I'm almost 30 years old. So no ma'am. Uh, but they're just super cute. The stories are very cute. The energy of them is very positive And I just I love them. I think they're so sweet. So I have yet to see a book from what is the company? RHC books random house kids Okay, okay Anywho love these books and so does Lila And one of my last baby favorites are these Happy Baby Organic Teethers. So these are the sweet potato and banana gluten-free um, teethers for sitting babies. So um, we have talked to our doctor at our four month checkup about kind of introducing food, introducing solids, purees, what route we're gonna take. And we're not choosing just one route. I personally, when I'm cooking and I'm sitting there watching Lila, I just, kind of involve her again in what I'm doing. So when we're sitting down to have a meal, I like giving her one of the teethers to know that, okay, we're eating. Um, and it's not about her getting nutrients from the food or anything like that. Food before one is just for fun. Um, it's all about just getting her involved and seeing her explore food. Um, there's not a lot of times that she's not interested in food, but if she is uninterested and doesn't take it, um, I just put it back and that's fine. Um, if she ever doesn't want to take her spoon with a puree or anything like that, then again, we don't push it, but, um, she's been showing a lot of interest. She sits up on her own. She pushes herself up all the things. Um, she tries to grab at our food. So, you know, really introducing her into the routines of eating and creating space for her there to kind of learn what we're doing is kind of the idea of it. And she really does like these. So I still, I won't even lie. I won't even front. I'm not perfect. I get very nervous of watching her eat 
eat them even though they dissolve super easy and things like that um <laughs> it makes mommy a little nervous <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, but speaking of teething, we've also gotten her some of those mesh, um, those mesh teethers and put frozen fruit in them. She really, really loves organic wild blueberries and organic bananas. Um, and yeah, it's been super fun. I've been trying to make her some purees at home also, just super cheap and easy to do that. And then just freeze little cubes of them. But yeah, that and her office that we share all the time. Um, she of course loves her office and now we just got her her first walkers. So she seems to really be enjoying those. And yeah, those are my favorites for February. So. It has been such a beautiful beginning of 2022 and I cannot wait to see what the rest of the year has in store. I am so grateful for this life and it is my intention in March. Um, in Like Honey, which is one of my favorites, our monthly membership. Uh, it's just like a collective of us women who come together each month and I make meditations. There's a cooking meditation, cleaning meditation, walking meditation. So each month there's new videos, new meditations, new content, new podcasts, new downloads, new journal prompts, the whole nine yards. My intention with it is to create almost like a self-love spiritual Netflix for you guys to come to, to have all the tools in front of you for whatever the theme is that month. And this theme is radiance reset so this month my intention really is about just focusing within and you know spending as much quality time with my family as I can and soaking up the goodness and showing up to my day every day with the intention of creating a life I love loving my life right now and being someone that I love and speaking and thinking and acting and eating as if I love myself and setting that example for my daughter is very important. So that is just my intention for March. So um, these are my favorites. I'll have a link down below to Like Honey if you want to check that out. It's super fun. It's a beautiful group of women um, and, you know, just lots of goodness to take in. So I love you guys so deeply. I hope you have the most beautiful day and I hope we have a beautiful, beautiful March. <sighs> it's going to be a really good month. It is.